points, guys. We're just going to go over a few points and reminders to help you improve and refine your technique, okay? We're going to start with the air squat, just for, so you don't know. Start position on an air squat is here. Finish position will be down below parallel, okay? An air squat will look like this. First point is we want to keep a neutral spine all the way in our squat from top to bottom, okay? Keeping a neutral spine all the way down the bottom of our squat, keeping our back nice and straight. Two things we don't want to see. The first thing is what we call a butt wink, is if we come down into the bottom of our squat and we over round our back at the bottom. And the second is we don't want to start ourselves with an overextension, trying to fight to keep that back straight. So we're coming down with a curve in our lower spine. What we don't want to keep is a nice straight back all the way up, all the way down into our squat. Second point is our knee position, okay? To start our squat, we're going to slightly point our toes out and our knees are going to follow the line of our toes, okay? So as we come down, our knees are going to be following the line of our toes. What we don't want to see is a twist in our knees at the bottom. We want to see them, our knees bent, so we don't want to come down and see them come inwards, okay? We want these knees over our toes, okay? Um, second one is we never want our knees inside of our foot, okay? So this will hurt or damage our knees, and if not, in, not instantly, but if it's not corrected over time, it could cause long-term injury. At the top as well, we need to be in a neutral position, so we need to activate the outside of our hips to allow our knees to go out over our toes, down into a squat. Our third point is we want to keep our heels down on the floor, okay? Our weight needs to be going through the middle foot or our heel to keep and generate the force through our hips and not our knee, okay? This will then improve our efficiency and performance in the squat. So what we don't want to see is coming down into a squat, coming onto our toes. We want to keep our heels on the floor, coming down so we can drive up as much force through our hips. Okay guys, these were just three quick and um, simple technique pointers to help you improve your squat. We will be looking at some more um, in-depth pointers in your squat in the following.